crowd of more than 67,000 wanted to see Kentucky Derby winner Ferdinand run against Preakness victor Snow Chief in the historic 50th edition of the Big Cap on March 8, 1987. Broadbrush, another outstanding colt, was shipped from the east for this race, the climactic encounter of each Santa Anita Park season. A million dollar purse was at stake in the mile and a quarter race. News coverage was intense before the big cap. The world's leading jockey, William Shoemaker, and Charles Whittingham were asked about Ferdinand's chances by television show host Charlie Wright. Charlie, is he as good today as he was then, or has he improved since that race? Uh, you saw him go by those horses, that's the way he's going to do <laughs> Sunday afternoon. That's pretty bold. That's pretty oh, bold. yeah, I think he'll, he's coming up good to the race. I think the race will run well for me. And he's a good race horse. Of course, I think he's in with some good horses. This now, he's on the outside Sunday. Will that give him any problem? He's got plenty of time uh, to duck in. No, I think well, if you go a mile and a quarter, I don't think post positions make any difference. I'd, I'd prefer the outside as the inside because uh, you... The horse that comes from a little off the pace, you're better off out there, you know, in trouble. But going a mile a quarter, I don't think anybody could grumble about the, the post positions. You've got a quarter of a mile to run into the turn. Mm -hmm. If you got, if your horse is right and it comes up right, uh, you'll get the money. Next to Charlie is the jockey who's won 11 of the big caps, and he'll be on Ferdinand, Bill Shoemaker. Bill, how's your horse? How are you? Well, I'm fine, <laughs> and uh, the horse has been training really well. Uh, I worked him a couple of days ago, or a week ago, or whatever it was, at a mile and 36 and one or something. And he's coming to the race as good as he could ever be, in my opinion. So. Track founder Dr. Charles H. Strube planned and predicted big things for the Santa Anita Handicap, and his son and successor as president of the track, Robert Strube, has carried on the tradition. The race always lives up to its reputation. There couldn't have been a more thrilling one than the 50th running. away well with bedside promise snow chief down on the inside of that and here comes epidorus on the grandstand side now sprinting to the lead ferdinand settling down just behind the leaders then comes bruiser and bozina broad brushes back seven lengths off the lead and nostalgia star trails by two and a half under the wire with one lap to go and epidorus as expected out there pressuring the pace with snow chief right alongside of him just in behind that, it's bedside promise in a good position. Fur, hopeful word giving the leaders five length start. Here's Ferdinand racing in fifth position. Just behind him comes Bruiser. Three lengths behind that to Broadbrush. He must be ten lengths off the lead. Bozina is next, and Nostalgia Star bringing up the rear. Down the back stretch with five furlongs to run. Epidorus on the outside. Snow Chief going along easily at the rail. And Snow Chief now tugging Pat Valenzuela to the lead. But Gary Stevens and Bill Shoemaker know it and they're going after it. Bedside from us. Ferdinand caught four wide. But those four past the half mile pole in a straight line. Hopeful word being asked to run three and a half of them. And Broadbrush is picking it up on the outside of him. They pass the three furlong pole. Snow Chief at the rail. Bedside promise between horses. Ferdinand on the outside. Broad brushes looming dangerous in fourth. Hopeful word is under the whip in fifth. Homeward bound now in the big cap. And Ferdinand's got his ears pricked and going beautifully under Bill Shoemaker on the outside. Broad brush coming to take him on. Bedside promise and Snow Chief at the rail. But it's Ferdinand and Broad brush coming to the wire together in the big cap. Angel Cadero on the outside with Broad Rush. Bill Shoemaker and Ferdinand. Ferdinand for Broad Rush. Yes, the wire. I believe it's so close. Ferdinand. Oh. Even Santa Anita's brilliant commentator Trevor Denman could not separate the two. The photo finish gave the decision to Broad Rush and Angel Cordero Jr. Akak. -ak. The sire of Broadbrush won the big cap in 1971, and owner Robert Meyerhoff's brother owned the 1980 Victor Spectacular Bid. Broadbrush was one of many thoroughbred stars who came out from the east for this race, and so the thread of history continued. 